Okay, let's explore a little bit with the uh, inroad survey. We'll go ahead and import our uh, field book and uh, review it a little bit. Let's click on our survey tab and you see it says book one. You click on that, you see there's no data. Uh, this is just a default file that is created with um, when you open inroads. So let's go ahead and go to file, new, and click on the survey data tab. Uh, this dialog is familiar to all of us. Survey data. Let's go ahead and name it. Uh, Ramp C. I'll click apply and then close. And you see our file is created. Let me click on that. And of course there's no data in that file. So let's go ahead and import our data. Go to File, Import, Survey Data. And let's go to our Data Collector Files folder um, and you can choose various types uh, if you just have a text file or you can filter it by your type of data collector Sokia there's two of those TDS there's none in there Trimble there's our Trimble file let's go ahead and open that I'll highlight that click import close and now if we click on our ramp C uh, field book. You see there's one station set up there. If we expand that a little bit and click on our station set up, there's various points. Um, that's just one way of importing your field book data. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that. No. Uh, if you already have a field book, you can just simply open it just like any other file. Go to File, Open, uh, there's our ramp C field book data, which has the extension .fwd. Go ahead and open that. Cancel. And there's our field book file. Okay, let's explore this a little bit. Go to survey, field book data, and your field book opens. Um, up here are your various stations. These are your traverse stations. Um, these are setups. Um, and down below you have points that were observed from that setup. So for example, let's, uh, let's review setup uh, point number 871. Down here is a list of points that we observed, that we shot from that station. Uh, let's double click on this and you can see you can edit uh, a couple things, a code, backslight point. <coughs> uh, you see you can't edit your northing, easting, and elevation because that's a point that you traverse to. Um, it's a setup point, so let's go ahead and close that. Uh, let's select a point down here. Let's go ahead and double click on that. If you need to make some edits here, your target height, your rod height, um, vertical observation, horizontal observation, uh, you know, vertical, that's just your zenith, angle, etc. Okay, let's go ahead and close that out. Um, of course, here's your coordinates, your easting, northing, and elevation. Uh, here's your feature codes. Um, in this case, EP, that's an edge of pave point. And the ST is a survey code that indicates you're starting a series of edge of paves, edge of pave points, um, which is just known as a chainage. So that's why you see EP start, and then the rest of the EP shots were taken. Uh, let me minimize this a little bit. Uh, let's review some of the graphics. Go to Survey, View Survey Data, and the Planometrics is already selected on. That's why you see the graphics there. If we turn it off, the graphics disappear. Let's turn that back on. Survey, survey View Survey Data, Planometrics. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And there's some information there. Uh, let's go to Survey, View Survey Data symbols. There's our point symbols. Survey, view, survey data. Names. There's our point names. Survey, view, survey data. Uh, let's go ahead and display our elevations. Displayed in red. 
and you can display the other information that you want, uh, your codes, um, EP, 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 etc. Okay, let me go ahead and expand this again. And actually, let me move this over so we can see a little better. Uh, you can right click on a point, select center, and it centers that point. Uh, you see point number 711 right there. Uh, let's go ahead and right click, select highlight observation, and the point highlights. <coughs> And you see in this chainage section here, uh, whatever point we have highlighted, our chainage is active. In this case, our edge of pavement chainage. And you can step through those points. And you see in the graphics, the highlight follows. And when you reach the end of the chain, end of chainage, OK. Uh, we mentioned the survey code. I'll collapse that again a little bit. Uh, you can go to Survey, Control Codes, and you see the Start. Uh, that's that's what the ST was for. Uh, close, if you want to close a certain chainage or whatnot. PC, PT, Do Not Construct, or Do Not Contour, etc. Um, also, we can import additional data collector files. Well, let's just go to File, Import, Survey Data. Uh, what else did we have? Yeah, we have a couple Sokia files. Go ahead and select that. Import. Click Close. And this is, okay, that's our audit trail. Uh, we'll cover that later. We'll just go ahead and close that. Uh, let's go to File, Import, Survey Data, select our other one, Import, Close, and you can see just by the graphics how many more points imported. Uh, let's go ahead and expand our field book again, and you see we have a lot more uh, stations up here. There's a setup, 804, with all the points observed, and another one set up on station 804 with all the points observed and there's our uh, feature codes with our starts and the rest of the changes and whatnot and it's just a quick overview of the uh, field book um, you can change uh, some formats and units if you go to Tools, Survey Options. Uh, there's your units. You see, and we're we're in degrees, minutes, seconds. If we just go to degrees, click OK. Let me expand that. You see, our horizontal and vertical angles are now just in decimal degrees. Collapse that. Go to Tools, Survey Options. Let's go back to Minutes and Seconds. Um, again, here's your units. Uh, these are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, some of this stuff down here, uh, again, we'll get into that later. Uh, you can adjust your symbology. It's uh, just like adjusting symbology on anything else. Click Cancel. And there's some other items up here that you can set according to your project needs. I'll click OK and get out of that. And let me expand the field book again. Actually, let me go ahead and close that out. And when you're done importing your data, you can add this to your project files as well. Just uh, right click and do a save as. And choose your project file. Whichever project file you have, click on Options. Again, it's like saving any other uh, project file. 
click our survey tab, there's our ramp C, we can add that, click OK, save, want to replace it, yes, I'll go ahead and overwrite it, cancel, and that's just a quick overview of how to import your uh, survey data into inroads.